hey, look at this, we're doing something relevant for once. Now, recently a photo of Kang had come out from Empire Exclusive. And we've already seen Kang before. In the trailer, we've seen who, He Who Remains, we've seen him in different photos. But the reason why I'm talking about this photo, specifically that recently came out, is because I think Jonathan Major really channels Kang here. Just everything about this photo I absolutely love. I love the scar, I love his outfit, I love that they made the colors of the green and purple actually work. In the comics, I've always liked Kang's outfit, but I have to admit, it's always a little out there. But in comics, it makes sense. Everyone has very colorful costumes. But in the MCU, things are a little more realistic. And Jonathan Majors is meant to be a very big villain in this movie, and in the MCU overall. And having his Kang be in a very colorful spandex type of costume might come across as not necessarily laughable, but a little awkward. But rather than just change it, they actually kept it, but changed the color scheme just slightly to make it a bit darker, with a navy green and a bit of a darker purple. Which, in my opinion, really, really works. And by doing this, you don't change the costume. It's comic accurate, but it also works with the tone of the MCU and works with Jonathan Major's performance of the character we've seen so far in the trailers. I also really, really like the scar. I hope we learn how he got that scar, because I am honestly just really stunned by it. I know that sounds really stupid, but when I look at this photo, my attention immediately goes to the scar. And I think that's really impressive, in my opinion, because so much is happening, but the thing I want to know is how did he get that scar? This is also an homage to a comic book from, like, I believe the 60s, which has Kang in a chair, which has also Wasp in the very same scene, making very inappropriate comments that about a guy who is, you know, threatening to murder everybody. I highly doubt that will happen in the movie. Could you imagine if it did? I don't think it's going to, though. Personally, I am really excited for this, and I'm really excited for Jonathan Majors, because I think Jonathan Majors is a fantastic actor. And seeing him in a role this big for a MCU movie is really, really exciting for me. Some people are a little just upset that the character is race-bent. Personally, I have zero problem with that because I think Jonathan Majors is perfect for the role, and I think Jonathan Majors is a great actor, and I really think that he can knock this out of the park. And so far, I think Kang comes across as a very, very threatening villain. From the trailers, he does seem very threatening. And while I loved Thanos, I thought Thanos was a great villain, and in fact, he's probably one of my favorite MCU villains overall, if not my favorite, well, maybe after Loki. I think Kang has the potential to be even better, possibly. Just from this very photo, I really, really feel like Jonathan Majors is just giving it his all. Because it's interesting, because it's a photo, yet I feel like you could already feel so much off of it. The way Jonathan Majors is sitting there just so chill-like, and it really just, it really gives you a very good idea who Kang is. And it's just a photo. That's how good I think Jonathan Majors is at acting. In a single frame photo, he manages to really just prove and channel just who Kang is. However, Akori's opinions vary, and you can dislike this. Because, just because I really like it, and I mean really like it, you don't have to. I'm not saying you absolutely have to like this. You can very much dislike it. You can very much hate it. It's just my personal opinion, and that is I personally like it. But I am curious if you like it or not, because so far online, I've been seeing some people not even react to this. They're really just focusing on more or less the other photos, and they're not really talking about Jonathan Majors, but rather the MODOK, who I'm also going to be making a video on. But in my opinion, Jonathan Majors is perfectly casted for Kang, and I'm really, really excited to see Kang. I also really hope he has a very large scope. Because Thanos had a lot of build-up. And while I want build-up to Kang, I also hope he has a bigger role in that said build-up that isn't just post-credit scenes. Because I actually really want to see Kang do a lot of his own work. I don't want to see him send people in to do it for him. I mean, I guess kind of is doing that with MODOK, but he's not he's still present in the actual movie. No hate towards Thanos, by the way. I love Thanos. Like I said, I thought he was probably my favorite or second favorite of MCU villains just after Loki. But I don't want Kang to be an exact copy of Thanos, but instead his own character. And 
from this photo and from what we've seen in the trailers, I think he very much is going to be that. And that's it. Like always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.